Hello my friends, welcome watching another part, sixth part of online tutorial how to fix your pressure car how to fix your Nilfisk C130 pressure washer. In this part we will focus on the high pressure gun G3 and in case that it's leaking and causing pulsation, pulsating machine, I'll show you how to fix it. If it leaks over here, it means that you have to change the o-ring at the end of the high pressure hose. If it leaks from here, what you have to do, you have to buy a seal kit spray gun, part number 126, Ford 81. 133 is the same seal kit spray kit for G3, G2 and G4 guns. As you can see, I just put beside the G3 gun, G5 gun and the reason why I have done it is that just to show you that some of these guns like G5 and uh, some of the G4s I have seen, I have watched on the internet and seen, uh, have this brass part. That's even better because it doesn't, it not, it's not, it doesn't become worn out so easily because over here you've got only plastic. But if you are a normal user and you use your pressure washer only occasionally for hobby purposes around the house or at, in your company, even the G2, G3 or G4 guns will do for you. This G5 is semi-professional, I would say. As you can see, as you can see I got here bills that I, for the parts I was buying in 2022. And for example, this seal kit spray gun for G3, it cost me only a five euro. It's actually a small plastic part with two o-rings and a spring. If you would like to buy brand new gun, it means this part, it will cost you roughly, well, depends on where you live. Over here in my country and in Eastern European and Central European country, countries, it costs 20, roughly 29 euro. That's it. That's interesting because in Austria or Germany you can get it for the half price in the same market or supermarket. If you would like to buy replacement, click, click and clean replacement for the G3 or it, for it's the G3 spray lance for high pressure washer. The product number is 126 481 134. Shortly, I'll set apart or disassemble the G3 wand or gun and you will see the seal kit that you're supposed to get if it's leaking. What we need to disassemble the G3 high pressure gun is a battery screwdriver and ordinary screw, Phillips screwdriver. First, we will disconnect the nozzle. It's easy the way how to do it. It's just click and clean system. You press the blue button and pull it out. Then you just you press the lance and spin it a little bit, and it will it will come off. And there you've got G3 spray gun. So what you have to do, you have to unscrew or undo two, four, six, seven screws. Actually, this G3 spray gun is brand new, so I wouldn't have to do it, but because it's not leaking, but I would like to show you how you should change the seal kit for the spray gun. To undo screws, you can use the battery screwdriver, but to tighten them back, I would prefer to use ordinary 
screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver. So we have done it and now you can, you should just split apart these two parts. Hopefully I will be able to do it. yourself with a flat screwdriver or something as you can see it goes do it slowly make sure that you don't damage any, anything That's it. So, you can see there is a trigger, there is a spring, and this plastic part is what you should, what you are supposed to replace if the gun is leaking over here. And the way how to do it is just to disconnect this or pull it up and you have it, you see? And now you've got access to the seal kit with the two O-rings and the spring. You can And that's the thing that can cause the leaking if it's worn out. For this 5 euro, mentioned 5 euro, you will get this and then the spring. And the spring is somewhere here, I guess. Just remember, as everything where it was I was wrong when I thought that it's kind of a different model of the G3 spray gun. It's the same. I couldn't find the spring, but spring was here, as you can see, inside. So, what you will get if you buy seal kit spray gun for G2, G3 or G4 is a spring. And this part, plastic part with three O-rings. So now we complete or set up the pressure gun again and we will do it step by step. So first of all, you have to connect these two parts. Just make sure that the spring is here, like this. Then push this plastic part this way inside. Okay. And now make sure that you place it like this inside. And the next step is put the spring inside here and from the back you have to push it because you have to overcome the spring and okay 
Now I got it in. So I have it. Now we can place back the small spring where it should be. Okay. This little knob that supposed to lock the trigger if you want to lock it. It's a safety lock. Place it like this. We have it. And now we can attach the this part. You could hear it did click nicely. And the last thing what you have to do is just to tighten the screws. As I mentioned before, it's better to tighten the screws with the manual, with the Phillips screwdriver because with the battery screwdriver you could damage the threads. We are nearly there. Okay. So we have successfully replaced sealed kit spray gun for G2, G3, G4 guns. We have done it on the G3 spray gun. As you can see, Everything works. So, thanks to click and cl click and clean system, you can attach the lens and the nozzle, and you've got G3 gun ready for work. That's everything what I wanted to show you in this part. I would like to thank you for watching. Have a nice day and good luck.